Wednesday, September 5th, 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, we've got an epic, very unique situation unfolding out in the central Atlantic Ocean, and it's way more than just a Cat 4 hurricane that we've already talked about, and that's Hurricane Florence, Cat 4 major hurricane moving towards the west, northwest, slightly northwest, at about 7, 8 miles an hour. It's moving very slow. That's going to give these weather patterns that steer these things a lot of time to change between now and the time it potentially makes landfall along the eastern seaboard. And it may not. There's no guarantees, but it is headed that direction. And it has strengthened, and it is entering warmer waters as it moves towards the west. These are the sea surface temperatures. The darker the color, the warmer the water. And it's right in here. It's actually strengthened in cooler waters, so it's no telling what it's going to do when it gets into the warmer waters. And what it's doing right now is actually unprecedented. I've never seen this before. We're over here at nullschool.net where we've been following this dust cloud storm, whatever you want to call it, that's been rolling off the west coast of Africa for the better part of 10, 12 weeks straight. Well, this hurricane is being chased by a dust cloud out in the central Atlantic. And what's happening, or what's happened, is this dust is getting sucked up into the hurricane. And this hurricane's becoming full of sand. I'm not kidding. Check this out. We are at the current location. This is today. This was this afternoon. I'm going to step it ahead three hours at a time. So now we are at uh, 10 o'clock tonight, or actually 11 o'clock tonight. And you can see the sand is starting to rotate counterclockwise in this storm system. Check this out. We're going to move it ahead three more hours at a time. Storm is moving west. That's Bermuda. Bermuda is probably about to see something really rare in about four days if it continues on its same path. Check this out. This thing is becoming loaded with sand from the Sahara Desert. I never thought I would see something like this. Look at that. That extends several hundred miles. You've got a Cat 4 major hurricane wrapped in desert dust, and it's going to carry it more than likely to the eastern seaboard of the United States. Absolutely unprecedented event. I've never seen anything like that. Ever. That is incredible. And the reason the dust is showing up in this model and is staying aloft is because the dust is in the higher um, part of the atmosphere of this storm, not low where the moisture is at. So it could, well, it looks like it's going to, remain wrapped in this storm, and it's carrying a, a bunch of dust with it over towards the United States. And you can already see we've been dealing with this dust at some degree. The, the lighter greens are the lighter particulates. Sometimes they're not at ground level. Sometimes they are. I know one thing, we've been dealing with a lot of uh, you know, eye irritation and upper respiratory out here in the desert southwest. And we've been getting, you can see the, the light green, that's dust from the Sahara. It's all over the, the globe, really. But this here, to have it wrapped in a major hurricane is an unprecedented event. There's no other way to describe it. I don't think that's ever happened. But there you see it. And that's how it's supposed to unfold. That's 8 o'clock in the morning on the 8th. This will take me up to the 10th, and that's as far as this model will go. But you can see it's getting more and more defined with an eye wall, getting bigger. That's several hundred miles wide. That is incredible. And you can see the dust cloud is, is moving at about 7 or 8 miles an hour forward momentum, just like the storm is. Look at all this dust it's, it's picking up. I mean, that's crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Wow. That's a first for me. We've got a sand-wrapped major Category 4 hurricane. And it's headed towards the eastern seaboard of the United States. And right there is Bermuda, that little dot. Talk about a, a photo op. It's no telling what they're going to see out east, east of Bermuda. And that's on the 9th. And that's as far as it'll let me go. One more, or two more hours into the 10th. That's 5 a.m. on the 10th, and that's as far as I can go. Wow. Never seen anything like that. This is uh, goes visible. You can see the hurricane right there. 
and the dust is behind it right there. You can see it even here on the visible. Something else I noticed down here by the equator off of the coast of South America are those upper atmospheric holes in the clouds. You don't normally see that, and that's right at the equator of Earth. They look like hole punch clouds, but you don't normally see a whole cluster of them like that at once. Maybe one here, one there is quite common, but to see a cluster like that, it's kind of rare. Don't know what it means. It's about as rare as a sand-wrapped major hurricane that is headed towards the eastern seaboard of the United States. So it's no telling what this thing could become. Uh, just doing this, becoming completely wrapped in Sahara sand, is an unprecedented event. I've even made maps here to show you guys. With arrows, there's the storm just ahead of that big sand cloud right before it starts pulling it into the system. Here you can see it's got it fully pulled in now, and it's sand-wrapped, a sand-wrapped major hurricane. Right there, it's off the coast of Bermuda, maybe a couple of hundred miles. Wow, that's incredible. And this is right before the sand cloud got wrapped up into the hurricane. So an epic event unfolding in the central Atlantic as I do this video. Sand wrap, category four, major hurricane. Thanks for watching guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.